You've already uh, gave us a little bit of examples of non-digital aids as well, because what you described, um, you also have in your PowerPoint that the viewers can then view uh, later on. We're talking about head pointers, we're talking about head mouse or laser pointers or mouth sticks that are all non-digital and what you said are very important if we do not have electricity or um, if we have just a power outage uh, in, in general. But let's now focus on something very specific, very important to our teachers, which are mainly our viewers. Let's dive or dig in into the subjects. What can we use for writing, for painting, um, in sports, and so on? Yeah, uh, there's also quite a few of possibilities. You already mentioned, for example, head pointer. So, if a child uses a headgear with the head pointer either coming from up or coming from the head of the chin, you can just simply with some tape attach a felt pen or a pencil um, or a brush or whatever you want. And actually I have at home um, in my living room, I have a picture um, made by a girl who had the brush in her mouth and she painted my turtle and my cat and it's just a lovely picture and she was a great painter just with the brush in her mouth. Um, or co you could use a head mounted laser pointer yeah, to access something or a specially designed mouth sticks that we already mentioned. And then again very efficient sometimes are no tech things like pencil grips and you have to imagine um, grips made from soft plastic which make it easier to hold a pen when you're not able to put your fingers so close to hold for example a small pen or what's called a writing claw would be um, like three tiny little cups made from a rubbery type where you put in your three fingers and now already your pen is attached to it. And then the firm Giotto, um, it's an Italian firm and they produce um, big, rather big felt pen like sticks um, dedicated for little children, small children to write. And then they produce something, it's, they call it the egg. And it's um, it actually looks like a computer mouse um, but underneath it, you can attach the, it's a type of felt pen, a rather thick felt pen. So the child, instead of holding the pen itself, it just um, moves this egg, half, like a half-sized egg around the surface of the paper and has a possibility to draw or to write even. And then um, I already mentioned the firm Life Tool and they have several computer programs and one of it would be the painting problem program Pablo. Um, you can imagine it like a, a painting book for children. They can choose between many um, objects, um, um, situations, um, and then for each of these items on a picture, they can choose the color. So even when a child only uses his or her eye gaze, um, it's able, he or she is able to draw a picture. Or uh, there are those picture books. I used to love them when I was a small child. The pages look blank, but when you go over them holding a pen, you see gradually something appearing. And that program does the same. It comes on a tablet computer, it's the, the screen would be blank and by moving the hand over the screen gradually a picture appears and it's also a neat tool to teach a child, um, you know, those wiping movements you need to operate a tablet computer. Um, frequently children have the problem not being able to manipulate things themselves. And it's so important to teach them consequences. Yeah? I do something and by doing this, I cause another action. And a wonderful, quite simple device, actually, it's something that's called PowerLink. And it's, it comes, I believe, from several firms. Again, the firm LifeTool does it. Uh, anything that's battery powered, a battery powered radio, a battery 
powered kitchen device, a battery powered fan yeah, to move the air around. You can attach it with this power link and a person who cannot operate the typically small switch on the device itself, uh, the power link can be attached to any switch on any body part a person is able to control. It can be next to the head, it can be on a shoulder, it can be on the knee, whatever a person is able to control, you can add a switch and that switch is attached to the power link and the power link goes into the gadget you want to operate. And then of course, children love to play with, to with toys. And what if you never can manipulate a toy with your own hands? And now uh, we get more and more of these adapted toys and it could be dolls, it could be stuffed animals. And again, in the toy would have a battery. Um, the battery is attached to a switch and you attach the switch to the body part a child can, can control. And he can make, for example, a hand hopping around or a cock making kikariki or um, a doll doing something, a monkey singing along. And again, um, with this video, um, I've in the presentation, you'll find a link and you'll just see an example of a nice little bunny that can be made hopping around, along. And it's one of those adapted toys. And of course, there's also adapted computer programs. And um, necessary to make a computer program barrier free is that you can access it also other by a conventional mouse or keyboard. So all these programs I'm showing you here um, do have these features. And a nice one, for example, um, is Tom. It includes three dimensional objects and gradually moves the child to the um, two-dimensional um, work on a computer. You have little objects, uh, they are made from wood and they have a sort of magnet attached um, to them and then you need a special magnet board coming with the computer and using these objects and playing the, uh, placing them on these magnet board you can do all kinds of things. Um, finding out the sound of a, of a phoneme within a word, doing counting things. And the nice things about it, it has several languages and in natural output, natural language output, not digitalized one, and also a natural feedback. So not this typical, well done, well done. No, you get a real natural feedback and they do have a version for children as well as for adults. And Again, in this um, link, you find a video and in this video, you see children as well as young adults using this program.